What do you see in this image? Is this man looking at you or to the side? Or is it both? What you see changes depending on how you choose to look at it. Now, this is just an optical illusion, but the same thing can happen in science. What we see can change depending on how we look at it. In the world of medical research, this can mean succeeding or failing to develop treatments for disease. Modern medicine has cured many diseases, but unfortunately there have been some failures like cancer, Alzheimer's, malaria and tuberculosis, which still cause millions of deaths every year. What can we do differently to tackle these difficult diseases? I think we can look at them differently in order to see something different, to see new solutions. So my research is all about thinking outside of the box. If a certain way of thinking helped cure polio, but hasn't worked for tuberculosis, how can we change that way of thinking? And what should we change it to? Now these are really big questions in uncharted territory. So I am starting right at the beginning. I am looking at the ways that researchers already use to think about disease and disease treatments. Let me give you three examples of different ways of thinking about disease by giving three different treatments for a bacterial infection. First, antibiotics. Antibiotics will kill a bacteria directly and then it leaves your body and you get better. Second, vaccines. A vaccine changes the way that your immune system works so that your immune system can attack the bacteria more efficiently and you actually never get sick at all. Third, fecal transplants. Yes, that does mean a poop transplant. Some people suffer from irritable bowel syndrome, which means that their intestines get red and swollen. And that happens when the bacteria that live in their gut interact in a bad way with the immune system. So with a fecal transplant, you take poop from a healthy gut and the bacteria that comes with it, and you put it into the unhealthy gut, and that changes the community and solves the problem. So we have three different ways of thinking about treatment. Killing the bacteria directly, having the immune system kill it, or adding more bacteria. In my research, I am using text mining and software to map the literature to identify these different ways of thinking about disease and disease treatment and to see which ones are successful and which ones don't work and in which situations. So these are the first steps in changing the way that we think about disease so that we can look at cancer, Alzheimer's and tuberculosis and see new solutions. Thank you.